When electronics are involved, no company's products are immune to manufacturing defects whether they reveal themselves as soon as the gadgets gets into consumer hands or months and years down the way. With smartphones, touch screens are generally one of the components of the phone that you seriously want to ensure is working properly especially with cheaper models where manufacturers usually cut corners after all, you'll be using it every time you touch your smartphone. So, is your device's touch screen marketed as a 5 or 10 point touch? Do you want to make sure that all areas on the screen are adequately sensitive? What about pressure sensitivity do you need to constantly exert force to operate the screen or does it register even the lightest of touches? Whether you're considering a new phone or want to obtain proof that your device's touch screen is underperforming and is, thus, eligible for under warranty repairs, the below quick guide will show you how to get the answers to all of the above questions easily. Step 1 First off, you'll need to enable developer options from within the settings menu. Go to settings about phone tap build number 7 times. You'll get a success message that you've now become a developer. Because once developer options are activated the menu won't go away, you can also use the yet another multi-touch test app to test your touch screen. Nevertheless, we'll assume that you went for developer options in this guide. Step 2 Anyway, now that you're a developer, just go back to the root settings menu and locate developer options. Once inside, scroll down until you find pointer location, could also be touch data or similar on your device, and show touches and check the boxes. You'll immediately see an overlay appear on top of your status bar with a lot of different, seemingly cryptic values and small gray circles will appear underneath your finger whenever you touch the screen. Step 3 From experience, people most commonly complain about the multi-touch capabilities of their phone's touch screens. Whether they believe that they were misled by a product's specifications or they have an issue when using several touch points to operate the device, e.g. gestures like pinch to zoom, panning, etc., they often want to know how they can test this for sure on their own. With our overlay on top, we can easily test this. The leftmost values, p, 0 slash 1 by default, indicate how many points the touch screen is reading at any one time. If your device has a 10 point touch screen, it should be able to recognize them all. Test this by trying to touch the screen with all 10 fingers, this is a bit finicky, but try and land all your fingers at once, with the pillow touching the screen, not the nail. If you get a reading of 10 tenths, if a 10 point touch screen, then congratulations your device is fine. You can even see the trail your fingers left on the screen just to be extra sure. If not, then you probably have cause to contact the manufacturer or retailer that sold you the device, but keep in mind that misbehaving software might be the culprit, too. Step 4 The next thing you might want to test is whether the touch screen really is as unresponsive at the corners and bottom parts as you think it is, this is a common problem with budget devices. Making use of the aforementioned trails, just try to slide your finger across the areas you suspect of being less responsive. Start by applying some pressure and then transition to as little as possible. You'll notice that the value next to PRS, second to last from left to right, will fluctuate as you do this, as it'll measure the amount of pressure that the touch screen picks up. A bad touch screen will require a lot of pressure to recognize touches at certain areas of the screen or won't recognize them at all. If that is the case, you already know what to do ring up the seller or avoid purchasing the device in the first place. A good touch screen will register as little pressure as 0.05. That's it.